Ghost bag number two. You have to excuse the uh, the unboxing with one hand as I'm holding the phone with the other. And also, it's quite a big box. Someone reads the sun. Just a mess of the floor behind me. for the wear on the front but, uh, hopefully <laughs> bit dirty underneath to see what it's like when we power it up well here it is sitting on the bench passes its self test comes on I don't know if you can see that very well but uh, got it connected to a one ohm resist power resistor so they go to two wire that's a one ohm resistor and so it says it's a you know 1.234 ohms put it onto four wire then take out the lead resistance and there it is 1.005 Apologise for the noise in the background, it's the 3D printer warming up. As I want to print myself a uh, solder holder for some of my reels of solder there. Uh, the green one being about 20 years old and the red one being a new replacement. And uh, we'll sort out some DC measurements. What I'll do is I'll just connect it to my power supply and uh, let's move the microscope out of the way. And uh, we'll set some voltages on the power supply and uh, see what we get here. All right, here we go. Sorry about the uh, contrast and the lighting and that. It's not very good in the room. Oh, and uh, that's the uh, 3D printer starting up. Well, there we go. We've got 5.0128 volts DC. And uh, if we swing around and look at the power supply it's set to 5.01 now if we uh, change the voltage oh, you actually press the right button change the voltage up to say 5.19 back over here 5.19 if we take the V limit up to say 40 volts put 
Get into course mode. Forty. Forty volts on the dial. Thirty-nine point nine seven. So, uh, not bad. So, okay, it's a meter that's quite old, but uh, everything seems to work. The battery, in, it has a battery inside, but I think the battery is shot through. Uh, being discharged for too long or just too old. The case is a bit dirty so uh, it will need to be cleaned up. But uh, as it's a HP 3468A it's a five and a half digit multimeter. You can reduce the digits if you wish down to say three digits. Four digits. Or back to the full five digits. Sorry, I must have not watched what I was doing with the camera there. And there. Uh, I suppose the only other option is to wind this back down to a sensible range. I might have it about five volts because I use five volts a fair bit. Come on. Set the V limit. Down to a reasonable value for oh, it's a bit hard to find, it's easier to control then. Five. Current limit is set to 420 milliamps. So if I find my resistor, it really is awkward doing things one handed with crop clips. Right, there we go. One ohm resistor for a bit of protection. DC amps, and we should get uh, about 400 milliamps. Reading 402.09, power supply 0.42 in the uh, power limit. So I like can see it's a useful addition to my bench. It will replace the two old meters that I've had for years. This one came from Man Maplin, or in America it was called Tandy. And this one I've just picked up along the line. And in one video I shall be having a look at what's inside what's inside this box as uh, it's an interesting chip that's in there from around the 80s if you're into Commodore pets it was designed to go in it was made to plug into the parallel port of a Commodore pet so that will give someone that will give you something to look forward to, as I've got to uh, get a microcontroller or an Arduino to drive it as my pet, which I've still got the pet this was made for. I still have sitting downstairs under the stairs, but uh, hasn't been turned on for about ten years. So uh, will need some careful treatment. Anyway, I think that's enough of my post bag number two. Bye for now.